Carl Weber's or Weber Big Girls Do Cry. And this is a 2010. This is the cover. And I'm going to just share some information about the book. I want to encourage you to read it. Go out and buy it. Buy it from your library. But I think it would be an interesting read. Start a book club. Um, I think you'll really, really enjoy it. It makes for great discussion. Great discussion. Um, now, the book before this one is something on the side. And I don't have it with me because I borrowed it from the local library. I didn't purchase it because, again, I started with this one not knowing um, about the previous books. So I had to go back. The reason that I went back, the story starts off where they're, they're meeting for one of their big girls um, book club and or plus size uh, big girl book club and um, there was a conversation between Tammy and Egypt who are best friends who have been best friends for a long time and Tammy is one of those friends that you love to hate you know she's she's jealous she wants to be better than you she's competitive and she catches a cab, she comes in town, she catches a cab, and she gets to Egypt's house, and she's floored because Egypt has a beautiful home, and she's going, there is no way she's living like this, you know, I'm supposed to be the one, you know, with the big house and all this and stuff, so she's hating from the cab, you know, so... Uh, you know, they give you little clips about the personality of, of Tammy's sedidiness, basically. And then it moves on into why Egypt asked her to come. And from... She, she's asked, she, she asked her to come and visit. These, these are taking place in Richmond, Virginia and parts of New York is the um, location of the, of the stories. And Egypt invited Tammy to come because she had a big favor to ask her. And basically the favor was she, um, she, she's unable to carry a child or produce productive eggs um, for, I guess, surrogacy or what have, what have you. So her husband, they, 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 they want a child. She and Rashad want a child, but she's unable to provide eggs or carry. So he wants the child to have his genetics, so she needs someone to, you know, be a surrogate mother for her, for them, but carry um, his seed, basically. So she's going to ask her best friend, Tammy. So when she asks her, you know, she's thinking, okay, well, you kind of owe me because I did, you know, this for you years ago you owe me big time well I kept going what's the big thing that she did that she owes you for which was why I had to go and borrow something on the side they had a threesome Tammy Egypt the two best friends and her husband I think his name was um, Tom God I've forgotten his name that's bad I forgot his name but anyway, they had a threesome. And the reason for the threesome, Tammy wanted to give her husband the ultimate birthday present. And she thought that was fulfilling a fantasy. And who better to do this fantasy with her than her best friend? So they go, she paid her, I think it was $5,000 to do it. She uh, took her shopping. They went to a very nice hotel. They had a very nice dinner. Uh, and that night, they had a very good time, the three of them. So when it was mentioned in the book, I had to go read something on the side to find out what's this that she's holding over her head. You know, what gives her the props to ask her? And ooh, that was an ugly situation. Let me just tell you, girls, it was an ugly situation. I mean, Tammy lost her mind behind that threesome. So at this point, I'm not really discussing this. I'm discussing something on the side by Carl Weber now. Uh, and get the spelling right. Carl Weber, okay? 
something on the side so I'm reading this book and I'm getting the gist of all this stuff and I'm literally just gonna highlight this because I don't see how I could just tell you the book you know in 15 minutes but uh Tammy lost her mind after the threesome I mean toward at some point in the threesome she got this feeling that he was more into Egypt than her and that she was somehow an extra so she became jealous even before the whole deal was over so days and weeks and months after she's convinced that her husband enjoyed Egypt so much that now they're having an affair so she's accusing Egypt she's accusing her husband she has lost her mind she's got the images in her mind she's just consumed and it nearly destroyed her marriage her life you know and the book starts off with her saying I love my life I love my car I love my house I love you know this is Tammy um, but it just it 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 just she she became an emotional train wreck and she took everybody with her so then her husband has this idea okay well if it'll make you feel any better I'll let you sleep with my friend I don't want to do a threesome but I'll let you sleep with him and then we'll call it even and let this nonsense go and I'm thinking that's some dumb stuff well he calls a Raul who works in his office uh, or works for him rather and who is also a good friend so he, he had already discussed it with Raul. Raul comes over. He and Tammy go into their bedroom in their house. Now, Tammy, that's some fun, okay? And they handle business. Well, Tammy gets hooked. Raul gets hooked. So now they can't get enough of each other. They are having an affair, okay? Egypt and her husband, they were not. This was all in Tammy's mind. But Raul got her going. And then it's some things that Raul does that her husband will not do. And she had a great appreciation for Raul's um, skill in this particular thing. I don't want YouTube to block this, so I gotta be real careful. Um, I'm just gonna say downtown. Okay. Now, it goes on and it gets to a point where um, she gets a little careless. Now, here's the, he, I, I'm, it's, okay, here's the situation. They are at a hotel, and, you know, she gets carried away, goes, Oh darn. They go to a hotel, she gets carried away and uh falls asleep or whatever. So her husband, um, you know, he's he's concerned. He's thinking, you know, what's going on or whatever. I think he had to go pick the kids up from her mom's house and all this kind of stuff. Well, what ended up happening? He she came out of the hotel her car was gone so she goes oh my god somebody stole my car she drove a BMW someone stole my car so um, she can't file a police report because she's not supposed to be at a hotel okay so her and Raul cook up some dumb plan you know tells her to pretend that she the car was stolen from her and she was hijacked or whatever and had her to roll around the dirt and make it look realistic and all this good stuff so she's gonna go home I guess first or whatever she he drops her off about a block away from the house she gets to the driveway her car is sitting in the driveway This heifer goes in the house. Now, between y'all and me being sisters, you out doing your dirt and your car beat you home. And it's parked in your driveway as if you put it there. When you know good and doggone well, <laughs> would you go in the house? I'd have walked past that house like I was lost. I wouldn't have even recognized it. I would just kept on going. 
<laughs> so this helper goes in the house and her husband is sitting in there cool as a cucumber. This helper not even know he done packed her bag. She got to go because he like, oh, for real? So he didn't hit her, thank God. He didn't clown on her, but he let her know, don't come in here with no... And then, do you know that helper told him that cockamamie story anyway? Talking about being hijacked. Now, see, if I was her husband, I don't know what my reaction would have been. Because, again, I would have walked past that driveway and that house like I had never seen it before in my life. I care right along. Okay, so that causes them to separate for some time. And then this heifer continues to see Raul in her life is on the fritz. Her mom had to kind of pull her to the side and put her in check. I'm running out of time. So, um... We go from that story. Then there's this character, Coco, who is Egypt's and Isis' uh, cousin. And Coco is one of those women who lives her life through her sponsors. You know, she got a dude that does her nails. She got one to pay her bills, one to get her hair done, one that takes her shopping, another to take out. And she don't mind giving up the goods because in order to get some, you got to give some. So that was her little thing. Had always been that way. Whoa, when I say she did some low down dirty, you know, she's at the gym and mind you these are full figure women and they, they explain they 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 are very descriptive in 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 the information in these books. The way they look, the way their clothes fit, everything. Uh when things go down, I mean everything. They 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 tell you everything. Break it on down. So uh Coco is at the gym working out because you know she you know she can't let anything sag or anything you know so she's got to she's she's working out to stay toned not to lose weight so there are some smaller framed women in the gym who are kind of scoffing at her and have some words about her you know these big women yada 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 and you know exercise kind of tough on Coco so Coco kind of grunting and making noise whatever and they go you need to shut up over there you know Coco like wait a minute well Coco was already handling one of them man so the other one had nerve to say something so Coco was like okay I'm gonna show you long story short I'm skipping around because I don't want to just detail the book I just want to give you some ideas okay the dude owns the the gym that they are attending the guy has gotten such good information Coco figures I got rent to pay hmm okay he was game oh, okay so she meets him at a hotel she calls the lady the girlfriend on her phone has her on her bluetooth in her ear pulls her hair over so he can't see it are y'all following me had that lady in her ear the whole time listening from the knock on the door to the just some low down dirty low da black book okay low down dirty then when she was done told here told made it well she she stated where they were so that the lady could come so she catches the elevator and as the lady's getting off the elevator and Coco's getting on the elevator, she sticks her head out to let her know, you know, where he is and what condition she gonna find him in. Oh my God. Low down dirty. I thought that was just that was ultimate to me. I that was I was floored. Coco is called she won those kind of women you don't want. I shouldn't say women. I'm a, I'm gonna say people. She's one of those people you don't want to be on their bad side because the way they pay back. Oh Lord, have mercy. You would have to repent from just thinking because you would have to kill her to get even. You can't just get even. You have to take this heifer out. You know, because the stuff she do is just dirty. It's just really really dirty. So, uh, there's that. This is going to, I've got 14 minutes. Oh, God. Okay. I'm going to carry over that into the next one. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and stop here.